I will come you to another series of our videos. So, in this video, we'll be discussing dimension analysis. So, in physics, the way dimension denotes the physical nature of a quantity. The distance between two parts, for example, can be measured in feet or meters, which are different ways of expressing the dimension of length. So, in physics, it's often necessary to deal with mathematical expressions that relate different physical quantities. So, one way to analyze such expressions called dimension analysis makes, uh, makes use of the fact that dimensions can be treated as algebraic quantities. So, let's try to look at the example we have or the problem we have. So, this problem is problem 6, topic 1 in Sayway College Physics 11th edition. So, let's read the question. Kinetic energy, which is uh, length in topic 5, has dimensions kg meter squared per second squared. It can be written in terms of momentum P. So, the symbol for momentum is P, which you learn in topic 6. And mass m, the symbol for mass is small letter m. As so, this is the equation: kinetic energy is equal to p squared over two m. So, question a: determine the proper units for momentum using dimensional analysis. So, we need to use dimensional analysis to to determine the proper units of momentum. Then b. Given the units of force, these are the units of force, write a simple equation relating to a constant force F exerted on an object, an interval of time T during which the force is applied and the resulting momentum of the object. So momentum is represented by a small letter P. So these are the questions we have. So this tackle them so to to find the correct units of momentum we have to do what's here so kinetic energy is given by this formula kinetic energy is equal to p squared over 2m so here we have to make p squared or p the subject of the formula so to make the subject the formula you cross and multiply which we get this statement there the mathematical statement so from here we we substituted the units of kinetic energy with the units here which are given in the equation so these are the units for kinetic energy kg meter squared second to the power negative 2 which is just the same as kg meter squared per second squared multiplied by kg which is the unit for mass so if this is what we have then since it's p squared then we'll say the square root the square root of p squared so that we remain with p is equal to this so you find that here when you multiply this kg and this kg you get this kg squared here so all this is in in that square root this square root and this square two the or this square they will simplify so we'll just remain with p then here the these squares on top of uh, kg meter and centimeter they will simplify so we'll just remain with kg kg meter per second or kg meter over second like that so this can this can be written like this or can be written like this so the units for momentum it's kg 
meter per second or kg meter second to the power negative one so these are the correct units for momentum let's also look at b b wants us to find the simple equation of force uh, and that equation should involve momentum and uh, time so this is these are the units these are the units that we've been given to uh, for force so these units can be written uh, as kg meter second to the power negative one over s it's just the same so you can realize that from the units we are given in the equation the units here on top represents momentum then second they are the units of time so we can replace here where there's the where there are units of momentum with p where here where there's s we can replace with t which is time so we can realize that the equation they wanted us to come up with is this one force is equal to momentum over time so this is the equation written in words then we can conclude so this is the answer so this is the summary these are the correct units for uh, the, so this is uh, the summary for solution a then this is the summary for solution b thank you for watching remember to subscribe to our youtube channel